Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Lean Hard. We're more than a channel, we are a community. Hard Squad, I hope you guys are ready for vintage pack goodiness. I am talking about Jungle Booster Packs, Team Rocket Booster Packs, and lots and lots more. I'll be opening those up today. I'll also be showing you this very professional PSA result. I actually just drew that, obviously, but PSA, I sent my Shadowless Nido King holographic card that I pulled from a $600, if not more, Shadowless base set pack. I'll, sh I'll be showing the results today of that card. It came back, I do not know the results, and uh, I'll be opening that up later on in this video. Also, I don't think I've announced this before. This Saturday, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time, I will be opening up every single Pokemon pack that has been ever made, or at least every series. Yes, these packs that are on the screen right now, more than four Skyridge packs, a Legendary Collection, a Base Set pack, Fire Red, Leaf Green, Legendary Treasures, every single type of pack that was created will be opened up on this YouTube channel for charity. I will be raising funds for the Child Mind Institute for mental health for children and their parents and adults, um, but most importantly, mental health in general. I uh, will be raising money for that, and in turn, we'll be opening up every single pack on this channel. So be sure to subscribe and hit the like if you are excited for that video. It will be this Saturday at 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. Finally, I think we're ready to get into this opening. We have so much good stuff today. Uh, if you missed it real quick, I uh, went to the gym and opened up some Pokemon cards. I think, uh, I think that workout routine is working out pretty well for me, especially that I'm able to open up some Pokemon packs. So, we got the PSA results later on in this video, but we will go ahead and get started with opening up some childhood vintage packs. I think we'll start off with Jungle. Jungle booster packs, by the way, usually around 30 to 40 US dollars. I'll probably be putting more information on screen about this series just so y'all can learn more. But there it is, jungle booster pack, 11 additional cards. I've already opened up like tons and tons of packs, an entire booster box. We raised over $3,000 for charity. So let us begin with this opening if you're a sealed collector please do look away or especially don't be there on saturday when we open up every single pack ever made all right and i say we because i'll have a special friend his name is nick and he will be joining me in studio when we open up every single pack and it will be a recorded video so y'all can actually watch it as you please all right three cards i still uh by the way Finally got my stitches out of my finger. It only took two weeks when I cut myself on a huge metal thing. And a huge metal thing. That's very descriptive, Leon Hart. But anyway, I got the stitches out of my finger right yonder. And it's a little weird just moving out with the band-aid. But it should be gone fairly, fairly soon. So bear with me. Thank you all so much. And let's see if we can get another Jolteon. Because that's the name of the game, folks. It's a Jolteon holographic. All right. Seeking. Marowak, Primate, Eevee, Execute, Cubone, Meow, Venonat, Rhyhorn, Pikachu! Very nice when we can pull a Pikachu from the Jungle series, and I believe it's the rare. Here we go, is a Pinzer non-holographic rare card. Just for the first pack, we got shovel packs to go, but a non-holographic Pinzer card. So, it's okay, it's okay. Ooh, can't wait to open up that by that guy today. We'll go with Team Rocket next. Now this is 
the final Team Rocket pack in my arsenal that I have. Uh, part of the uh, tons and tons of vintage packs that I've been opening up. May get some more, but for right now, this is the final one of Team Rocket only. Still got plenty of the other ones. So please be sure to enjoy this as much as I am. So let us go ahead and open up the pack and uh, see what we can get in this one. Okay, yeah, we're recording. Good. It's like, now I check that we're recording. I think it's three cards. Let me just make sure. Yeah. All right. For some reason, I always thought Dark Gloom was a rare in this set. But uh, all right, do your stuff, Dark Gloom. That's fine with me. Dark War Turtle. Now that is such a great card. To me, because I like Squirtle a lot. Mankey. Voltorb. Diglett. Sleep. And my favorite card from the set, barring the holographic cards, a Squirtle from Team Rocket. I used to do so many things to try to trade for this card when I was younger. Dratini, Magnemite, very cool looking card. And we're at the rare. It is a Here Comes Team Rocket non-holographic rare card, which is okay because... It's a pretty cool looking card, if I do say so myself. I know. Even if you get the holographic form of it, there's only like the little backs right there and like by the R that are actually shiny part of the holographic. So there goes Team Rocket, because there they were just a sec ago. <laughs> okay, never mind. All right, we'll go ahead with this uh, other jungle pack, has Flareon on the cover. The other one had Scyther on the cover. So Wizards of the Coast made this, and. Uh, Maybe Wizards of the Coast will give us some good luck. Maybe even get a hair, uh, hair an air holographic card where uh, I'll go into that very, very shortly after I do the card trick. The airs essentially, because I was corrected the last time, I apologize, is apparently the air symbol uh, may not be on the holographic cards. And if you do get that, it's worth quite a bit more money than just regular unlimited. So Primate. Pharaoh, whoa, calm on down. Butterfree, Bellsprout, Venonat, Execute, Pokeball, Rhyhorn, Tickly, Oddish, and the rare is a Victory Bell non holographic rare card. And I know they've been non holographic cards, Heart Squad, but it's about just remembering pulling these cards when you were younger during your childhood or if you're young and you've opened up uh somehow opened up a pack or two uh just your feelings of opening these up and the nostalgia that the cards bring that is what the pokemon card game is about ladies and gentlemen and uh here we go ex ruby and sapphire packs it only comes with nine additional cards as opposed to 11 for jungle and team rocket that's okay i think it came out in 2003 it's uh, actually a pretty rare set to get, and the packs are quite expensive for this. I'll probably put it on the screen so y'all can check a look at it, but EX Ruby and Sapphire, here we go. I will not be doing the card trick for this one because I honestly, even if I thought it was just two cards for the card trick, I or even one card, sometimes the cards are actually already, like the rares already at the back, and that may be the case for this set, but we'll just try it out. Irregardless, I hope you're enjoying this. That was a, that was a really, really rare pack right there. So here we go. Make sure the lighting's good. So Potion, Aaron, Electric. That's very nice. It needs to get some of that like HD TV, like the motion sickness things needs to go away on there. They'll get that eventually. Mudkip, Fighting Energy. What's cool about this set is the uh, E-Series logo on the bottom left is pretty cool. Laron, Curlia. A Torchic reverse holographic card, but that is very, very nice. I really, really like that in the rare. So we didn't need to do anything, which is fine because it was just a non holographic septile, but that is not too shabby. A Torchic reverse in the septile. So I know uh, quickly here are the pulls. Here comes Team Rocket. Uh, we got a Pinzer and a Victory Bell from Jungle. Obviously, the best is this Torchic because it's so cute. All right. So, uh, we are now going to open up this. This is the results from PSA, the graded Pokemon card. So, I'll try to do this on screen. It's a, I don't know how they, whoa, oh my gosh. That was crazy. I need to stop myself. All right, I'm going to do it off screen but I'm still talking to y'all. So, 
This is so weird. Uh, they, they packaged it like very, very, well, I guess it's good. They packaged it very, very securely. I just need to know how to actually open it up for y'all. And I didn't want to open it up ahead of time just so y'all can like see the process of whenever you get a graded card back from PSA. So, oh, look at that. It's like a raptor, a uh, raptor. It's like R reptar from Rugrats. No, it's like a raptor, a raptor. Why can't I speak English today? All right, there's actually like a barcode on the bottom of this, but I'm gonna try to make sure. Maybe having technical difficulties here, having a little technical difficulties here. I'm gonna cut this off, and uh, hopefully, maybe next time. I'll just like cut it open, but not actually take a look at the card. Alrighty then, we are back in business. So, there it is. Comes with lots and lots of bubble wrap and lots and lots of bubble wrap. Here is the actual card. I'm not gonna actually show it just yet, so I'll put it right yonder. What is all in this? There's random stuff. Okay, so there's like random other things that they include in there, and then there's the paper and some more bubble wrap. So. This card, ladies and gentlemen, is a Shadowless Nitto King from base set. So there's a first edition unlimited in Shadowless cards. Shadowless actually is in the middle, sorry about that. But Shadowless is incredibly rare to get a pack of it. If you do, like kudos to you. If you have a Charizard, even PSA 10 Charizards are really high up there in price, like over 13,000 was uh, when one was recently purchased for that amount. Probably a little less in some cases, but around that, more or less. And uh, I didn't pull a Charizard in that pack, but I did open up the pack on this channel if y'all would like to go take a look. Anyway, here are the results of the PSA. I would be surprised if it was 10, but I would love it if it came back a perfect 10. Probably would get a 9, but I would not be surprised if it was 10. Are y'all ready? Here we go. A mint 9! This is absurd! This is crazy! What is it? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I can't complain. Uh, the centering on this card was a little too off. You can tell on... Uh, Probably not the back way, but the yellow. Look all around. It's much bigger on the bottom than it is on the top. Well, not much bigger. It's noticeably different than for if you're a card grader, especially PSA. So it came back a still an amazing score of mint 9 out of 10. And it's so cool that it says 1999 Pokemon game Nidoking Holographic Shadowless. Um, I'm not sure what I want to do with this card. If there is somebody out there that would like to add this to collection, honestly, the card's probably not worth like too much or anything, and I give you a great deal, especially because I pulled it myself on this channel. So you'd get a special Heart Squad Nitto King card graded from PSA for yours truly. Uh, just send me an email. All that is in the description below. Just so if you can take a closer look at the card, 1999 Pokemon game Nitto King holographic, and I love that it says Shadowless. That is gorgeous. The holographic itself is probably like a 10 out of 10. There's no lines, there's no scratches. It's really a shame the centering was like that because the card itself, like even the back, the corners are absolutely flawless. Now there is a speck of white down there, but that doesn't always hold you back from getting a 10. So a PSA Mint 9 for the Nino King Shadowless that I pulled. Still a very, very gorgeous card. So I am I'm not upset about that. So we can put that in the back right over yonder. And let us see right here. If you uh somehow skipped all the way back to this part of the video, um, for mental health awareness, I will be raising funds this Saturday, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. Four Skyrich packs, Legendary Collection, and every single other pack that has been ever made in the Pokemon card game will be opened up on this channel. So Heart Squad and anybody else watching, please get ready for that because it is seriously going to be an amazing event, an amazing time. I'm thinking, should we go ahead and open up another Scyther pack? Uh, Maybe we'll just go ahead and uh, open up one more jungle pack. I think we're going to open up one more jungle pack. We got Nidoking staring at us right now. 
And uh, I think uh, just, you know, let's just do it. So opening up one more. So please do, guys. Uh, please remember to leave a like if you enjoy vintage pack openings. And get ready for some more jungle packs. Uh, if Wow, that was actually much more difficult to open up. Why aren't you opening up? This is awkward. I went to the uh, I went to the gym even like to help me open up packs and I was not able to open it. All right, here we go. Finally. All righty then. So we got another jungle booster pack opening. Let us see. Starting off with a very nice Rapidash. Lick a tongue. I know what was. I'm trying to remember the Heart Squad fan's name. He's a huge fan, or at least of the jungle lick a tongue. They commented on my Twitter, which I answer everybody on Twitter for the most part. I, uh, he said Lickitung was like such a nostalgic card for him, and that's kind of the motto of this video is just all about nostalgia. I mean, we got the Shadowless Nido King right there. We got multiple vintage booster pack openings that were happened in this video, which is just very cool. Pokeball, Rhyhorn, Jiggly, Oddish, Cubone. And a Vaporeon non-holographic card. That is all right because I mean the previous openings of Jungle Packs we had we pulled the Jolteon holographic and several others. It was quite it was quite the spectacle. The whole playlist will be in the eye if you want to take it out. So, Vaporeon non-holographic card, a PSA nine for my Shadowless Nidoking card, and most importantly. We got the most, probably the biggest video ever for Pokemon cards in history because we're not only opening one of each pack for some of the series like Sky Ridge, we will be opening up four packs. The value of all of it is in the thousands. So get ready, it will be for charity, a great cause. But most importantly, I value your time and I hope you enjoyed this video, Heart Squad. Get ready. We got some amazing video this week coming up, so do hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and have an amazing week. My name is Lean Heart, stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I will see y'all in the next video.